Hello there and welcome to Jakarta, Indonesia for Indo Defense 2016, where local and international companies are showcasing some of their naval defense innovations. The highlight of the show in terms of naval product has to be this tank boat unveiled by PT Pindad, PT Lundin and CMI Defense. Welcome to our new project tank boat. PT Pindad in cooperation with Lundin Indonesian company, the shipbuilder and CMI Defense from Belgium produced a new project called tank boat. Yesterday, our Vice President of Indonesia, Mr. Yusuf Kala, named it as an Antasena. It's based on our mythology of the puppet, very strong warrior who can fight in the water. Our role in the system is to do the system integration, create the turret system 105mm, and together with the four force for the remote weapon station 30mm gun. The main mission of the tank boat to support our defense line. Indonesia consists of 17,000 islands. We have a lot of water inland waters, rivers, swamp and lake. The Minister of Defense has assigned us to develop this project to support the defense line, especially with this boat, it has capability to operate in a very shallow draft, 90 centimeters up to the deep blue water with a 400 nautical mile. Yeah, we're introducing our new tank boat uh, model, um, which is a combination of uh, catamaran hull, uh, shallow draft, a uh, very high stability, and that is to be able to carry a very big gun. So now we can have a 105 millimeter gun. So these vessels are basically designed to operate, first of all, as a, a riverine boat for riverine operation, but it also have a function as a fire support vessel for supporting amphibious operations. So when you have digged in positions on the beach, this is a small asset which can get very close with a big gun. So we think we are unique to come up with a modern version of this. So this is uh, our next project. This is a submarine, midget class submarine. The length is 22 meters. Uh, we work with the Ministry of Defense for research uh, to build submarine first submarine that built by Indonesia. Its endurance is about six hours deep underwater and its speed underwater in silence is four knots. As Indonesia as a very big archipelago state, we need many uh, submarines. So and Indonesia never built one by our own. So we researched uh, this prototype to develop for building Indonesian Navy in the future. In this Indo Defense, the, the first day, uh, PT PAL signs uh, MOU with the uh, Boosted uh, Malaysia. The MOU is as content this day. We start for the collaboration for the project in Malaysia. Many can of ship, but we start maybe from the multi role support ship around the 160 around in but and speech speech detail still in discuss with them uh, start from this type of ship we also propose another another type of ship is as you know we already deliver for the three uh, uh, missile attack craft for the 60 meters we also the entry score for our product and maybe another another ship also yes this is the the process for the troop transport yeah for the five 500 troops and then we can bring the two helicopter in out and then the two in a hangar and then the another still in discuss what the maybe some MPB tank inside but still in discussion about the quantity yes
This submarine is a DSME 1400 class submarine that we made a contract with the Indonesian Navy at 2011, at December, for the uh, construction of a three submarine to Indonesian Navy. The length is uh, 61 meters and the diameter is around 6 meters. The first one and second one is already launched and now in the sea trial progress. And the third one is on the construction in DSMA. Yeah, this is uh, the state art of uh, design submarine that we using the uh, modern technology to for, for the Indonesian Navy. So the submarine will be local production in we will be cooperate with the uh, and we will construct and deliver to the Indonesian Navy. DSME is also showcasing the KSS-3 project for the Republic of Korea Navy. This is a large conventional submarine displacing over 3,000 ton and ocean-going submarine, uniquely fitted with six vertical launch systems for land attack cruise missiles by LIG Next One. LIG Next One of South Korea is showcasing its range of anti-surface solutions, such as the Sea Star anti-ship missile. For the very first time, the South Korean company is showcasing the 130 mm rocket launchers. These are anti-ship rockets with INS mid-course guidance, as well as IR seeker for the terminal phase. It shares the same seeker with the 2.75 inch rocket procured by the South Korean Marines. Again, these are perfect to counter uh, swarm attacks by uh, overcraft or fast attack craft. And finally, they are also showcasing the Blue Shark lightweight torpedo. The 130 mm anti-ship rocket launchers is composed of 12 canisters. The rocket is itself has a range of up to 20 km and the launchers are fitted on the PKX patrol boat of the Republic of Korea Navy. The Indonesian Navy is showcasing some of its innovations as well. The Navy Institute of Technology is showcasing this fixed sonar buoy designed to protect the Indonesian islands from submarine threats. The Navy Research Center is showcasing this Keeper underwater drone. It is used for target practice from submarine. It is fitted with two noisemakers. It simulates enemy submarines and the Indonesian Navy can shoot torpedo to train its crews. This is the Chantoka Rib used by the Kopaska, the Special Forces of the Indonesian Navy. It is fitted with an assault ladder to storm hijacked ships. <laughs> 